Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I need espresso. You know, I wonder if it's the flavor of the espresso, the kick of espresso, or just the creature comfort of having an espresso in my hand, taking the trip down to the store every day it gets me started. I'm a creature of habit. I hate going to the bank because every time I do, I go up to a teller, even if I go through drive through they always look at my account and then ask me if I want to take out a loan because I do this and I have that. Ugh, I don't want a loan. If I wanted a loan, I'd ask for a loan. And I know why they're doing it, but man, you just gotta be careful of that stuff. You don't wanna live your life on credit. If you're just living with money that you don't have, you're screwed. It's just a matter of time. Ah, oh, it just uh, irks me to no end. I come there to bank, not to get sold. Do you really have to go this time? All right, give me a shot. They didn't lie. I was reading that there is a dead man flying. Well, the passenger wants a refund because he was flying next to a dead man for 10 hours. So a guy gets on a plane, mm -hmm. sits next to another guy who complains of cramps, and then that guy who complains of cramps dies. Mm -hmm. And the other guy has to sit next to him for 10 hours? He thought he was asleep. But he's dead. He was dead the whole time. What would you do? Not if he died. I mean, if you were the person that had to sit next to a dead guy. <gasps> that would be scary. I feel bad for the dead guy because he didn't choose to die. Would you get up and move? Well, he didn't know he was dead for 10 hours. Cold kielbasa. I'm good. Yeah, it's good. Plus, the nice thing about eating cooked meats like this is you don't... Burn yourself. It's never too hot. You want a bite? Mm -hmm. No? Sure? You want to lick it? Ice, ice, baby. We got a package in the mail. I'm not exactly sure who sent it yet, but they didn't include enough postage, so now we owe the post office some money. <laughs> Maybe we can pay for it in popcorn. Yeah. Is that the last of the popcorn? Mm -hmm. That's it. What the hell is this? I can't, there's no way, I can't. I'm probably gonna break this. Apparently I sent this. For you. For me? Yeah. They're cubic zirconia studs. You bought these for me? Yeah. Why? Well, because I found them online. Oh, Why? Just, just because? Yeah. It's not anything special? What do you mean it's not anything special? Of course it's something special. It's just because it's permanent? Yeah. I'd hug you, but I'm holding onto the camera. You didn't pay for them. I paid for them. Wait. But apparently I didn't pay enough for postage. Oops. I'm not kidding. I had to do 13 things over the course of a single hour. And that includes booking, last minute travel, making sure everything's accommodated, like we've got everything covered, uh, having to record the geek out, having to get back to people by the time I said I'd get back to them. And, uh, the problem with that is I could have handled those 13 tasks over the course of a day. I would have had time to plan and think it out, but having to do them with immediacy, things get booked fast, and you can end up spending you know, $400 more just by waiting 15 minutes. If I have to deal with two things, I can do okay, although I can really only concentrate on one thing and do it well at any given time. Two things, three things, four things, it adds up. It's really hard for me to deal with that. I don't know how any of you guys do it. I mean, I know we're 
always talking about all oh, multitasking and stuff. And it's easy for me to, you know, email, IM, browser, because I can kind of, I still take it at my own pace. I can't do 13 things at one time. So when I have to, when I have no choice and I'm limited by time, it's just, it, it really, it stresses me out. And I try to keep calm. I'm like, okay. And I think methodically like, okay, do this first, do this second, do this third. But it's still, man, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. And to top it off, I think I just gave myself a paper cut on my tongue. And then I got the envelope taste in my mouth. Well, I hope this is going to make me not stress out. I'm gonna open a couple of things I got from, oh yay! It's a minifig. Looks like I got a gift that's Captain Jack Sparrow and it's from Charlie Stewart. Thank you, Charlie. Let's hope I don't cut myself again. Hey, there it is. This is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a cameraman minifig. It's got a special printing on the back and this is from Matthew College. Wicket has been alerting the entire neighborhood of something. I don't know what. Wicket? Hi, Pixie. I know you're not barking. You never bark. Or you seldom bark. You do sometimes. Wicket? What are you doing? Hmm? Are you keeping us safe? Yeah? Because your sonic barks will uh, ward away any kind of predator? Yeah. <sighs> is right. Get inside. Come on. Mr. Protector. Oh, there goes Miss Piggy. Should probably pick out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow morning. Let's see here. Uh, I probably should have turned on the light before I came into the closet, but easily remedied. Now, to f What the hell just happened there? Check it out. If you text the word Chris to 68398, at least here in the US, you'll be subscribed to our alerts. And every day we will send out a message to your mobile device to let you know that a new Perillo vlog is uploaded. Diana is gone. I have no idea where the hell she is. She left some popcorn on the counter, but the problem with eating popcorn is that A, it's not filling, and B, I'll be walking around for the next few hours going <laughs> Leftover Ethiopian it is. Mmm, tastes better than it looks. I learned long ago that when you plan on going on television, you should always clip your nails, especially if you're going on with some kind of gadget. The reason why is because they may take a close-up view, the last thing you want is your fingernails, as long as they are, to be seen on any kind of broadcast. So I always make sure they are clipped. Why do you like your ice cream all squishy, honey? Because it's smooth. I ate all the pecans out of it. Well, that's no fun. And I left you the rest. No, I'm good. I actually like hard ice cream. Does anyone else like soft ice cream? Is that the question of the day? Mm-hmm. Get it on the lens. Oh, <gasps> baby! Only with Comcast could you try to control the DVR only to have all of your gestures completely ignored. So at this point, I should be rewinding at, well, it would be quadruple speed. That's obviously not working. Let's try pausing. Yeah, that's obviously not working. It's comcastic. It's evening, so you know what that means. It's edamame time. No, it's not still evening. I fell asleep. And now, it's about 4.43 in the morning. And I can't get back to sleep. I have to be up in a few hours. 
Yay. You know what will help me get to sleep? If you like this video, 